working on a twisted stitch pattern here that is pretty easy to read off of the stitches that I've already worked with. So I'm going to do my first twist right here in the middle of the bed, these two stitches, remove them on one tool, insert another tool from behind, and give it a twist to the right. When it's just a single twist, it doesn't matter whether you twist left or right, but you want to be consistent throughout an entire project. And after each twist, I'm going to knit two rows. So this is where my last twist was. I want to start moving out on each side because I'm working up a diamond. So I'm going to move one needle to the left to make the next twist. And because I'm traveling the stitches towards the left, I will twist the tool towards the left as well. And then I'll use one of the old stitches and a new one here to twist those two stitches towards the right. Now it's a little easier to see. This was the last twist, so I'm going to move one stitch further to the left. On the left side twisting left and traveling left. And over here, this twist on the right hand side was the last one. I'm going to move over by one needle, take these two stitches, transfer to the other tool, twist to the right, and replace them on the very same needles in two rows. And I'll keep doing that, moving over one needle to widen this diamond until it's as large as I need it to be. And then I'm going to start moving those stitches back in to close up the top of the diamond. Here's the last row getting wider. And now I'm going to do one more twist on the same stitches to reverse the direction. Now this line is traveling to the right, so I'll twist it to the right. And this group of stitches is going to start traveling to the left, so I'll twist them towards the left. Last twist was here. I'm moving in by one needle now to close up the top of this diamond. Traveling right, so I twist to the right. And here, traveling left twisting to the left. Previous twist, next twist, one needle over. This is a pretty slick maneuver and once you get going I think you'll find that it's much much faster than trying to cross one by one cables which would give you the exact same effect. And here comes that last twist at the top of the, the diamond. And again, I'm going to twist to the right, but it really doesn't matter which way I go as long as I'm consistent from one repeat to the next. Although most twist stitch patterns are traditionally two stitches twisting, it's also possible to twist three stitches by the exact same method, probably knitting about four rows in between for a very spiral, almost cable appearance. And it's a great texture to add alongside other cables or maybe even mixing it in with a pattern stitch. So about every four rows, three stitches twisted with the two cables.